Tonight for dinner, we're having a Depression-era cheeseburger. The Oklahoma Onion Burger was invented in the 1920s and gained popularity during the Depression. It's somewhat of an ugly duckling. Not much to look at. Made of onions, meat, cheese, and a bun. It's humble, simple, and has a cult-like following to this day. If you like caramelized onions, this is the burger for you. For these cheeseburgers, you only need four ingredients. The hamburger, the cheese, the sliced onions. You wanna slice them as thin as you can, and the hamburger buns. I made some homemade hamburger rolls. I sized them somewhere between a regular hamburger roll and a slider roll. So these are kind of medium size, mama bear size. <laughs> But let me show you how I did it, super easy. This is my favorite hamburger bun recipe, hands down. And it's super, super easy, you guys. It's a cup of warm water, a packet of the dry yeast, or a tablespoon of dry yeast if, if you buy it in bulk, three tablespoons of butter, an egg, and I'm just gonna let this sit here for a few more minutes. The yeast is already starting to activate. We'll go ahead and get this mixed up with the dough hook attachment. And then we're just gonna add three and a half cups of flour and a teaspoon and a half of salt and knead it for five minutes. After the dough ball comes together, just knead it for five minutes. It's been five minutes of kneading the dough. I'm just gonna turn it out onto the counter. I'm not gonna add any flour or anything. Um, this recipe normally makes like eight, you know, regular size hamburger uh, buns. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to make 10. And this size is gonna be somewhere between a slider and a regular bun. I think this will be perfect for these depression era cheeseburgers. Now, um, the cheeseburger recipe that I'm gonna show you today is uh, just the traditional way that they did it during the Depression. But you could uh, modify the recipe for sure and add whatever condiments or vegetables, lettuce, tomato, um, anything like that. Uh, if you wanted to toast uh, the roll, uh, you know, put some butter on it and grill it up. Uh, that'd be fine too, but I'm just gonna show you the traditional way that they did it and you can take it from there. Okay, I got the dough into 10 pieces and you just wanna roll them into a ball. And then, this is such a beautiful dough. Just flatten them out. I just kinda pinch it around to about that size. That's about a medium size roll. It's gonna poof up. It's uh, bigger than a slider roll, but smaller than a regular roll. All right, let me go ahead and get the rest of these uh, rolled out and be right back. We have the dough shaped into the little hamburger rolls. You don't have to do a first rise on this dough. You just go ahead and form it into the shapes, put them on a sheet tray, cover it with a clean kitchen towel, and just let them rise. The hamburger rolls have been rising for about 45 minutes. I have an egg wash. It's just one egg with a teaspoon of water that I whipped up with a fork. We're just gonna put the egg wash on the hamburger rolls. I really love making these hamburger rolls because you don't have to do the first rise. They just, they go together so quickly. And I love the texture of the bread. Some recipes I've made in the past the bread falls apart. Um, this doesn't, it holds together really well. And they're gonna poof up in the oven. 
Okay, we're gonna top them with sesame seeds. I have the oven preheating at 375, and they take about 15 to 17 minutes. I usually check them after 15 minutes, and uh, most of the time they do go the full 17 minutes, but I check them. All right. Into the 375 degree oven. Just took the rolls out of the oven. I cooked them for the full 17 minutes. Now I'm just gonna get them onto this rack so they can cool. They smell amazing. I've tried a lot of different uh, hamburger roll recipes in my day. And this one is definitely my favorite. It's almost like never fail, you know? You can't mess it up. Comes out perfect every time. All right, we're just gonna let these cool and get on with making the Depression Era cheeseburgers. Those smell really good. So easy. They go together so quickly and because they don't need that first rise of the dough, I almost can't get to the grocery store to pick up a package of hamburger buns. I can make them quicker almost. But anyway, they're for sure a lot cheaper and they sure taste a lot better. We're gonna let those cool and get the cheeseburger started. The key to this is really get your onions thin. I have an iron griddle that I've been heating up. I'm just gonna take a little bit of oil and then take a couple of these, they're about three ounces of the hamburger meat. I'm gonna do double deckers, I'm gonna add two. Season with salt and pepper. And then now's the time you wanna pile on a good handful of onions. Right on top. We're gonna take the spatula and smash these down. You want them really thin. We're just gonna let these cook. Once the patty starts getting kind of crusty around the edges, that's the time you want to flip it. I like the onions caramelized. I don't want any uh, fresh onions on the burger. You just want the onions to cook down to almost nothing. Another little tip is when I'm cooking the first meat side, I have that on a medium high heat. And then when I turn the patty over and the onions are on the bottom, I turn the heat down to medium. And I let them cook for a couple of minutes, two, three, four minutes before adding the cheese. And that allows the onions to really caramelize and get really sweet and uh, not be so pungent. It's been about three minutes. I'm gonna add a slice of American cheese onto each of the patties. And then traditionally, they would take the bottom of the bun, put it on one of the patties, and take the top of the bun and just allow the steam from the onions to steam the bun. It's very traditional to do it this way. And even in Oklahoma, they still prepare these Depression era onion cheeseburgers. All right, to plate this up, we're gonna do it traditional style. No must, no fuss.
take that second patty and put it right on top of that one. And just put the bun on top. Here's a Depression era cheeseburger on a homemade hamburger roll. Two really thin, super thin beef patties with caramelized onions and a slice of American cheese. It doesn't get any simpler than that. But this is delicious, you guys. You can add all the condiments you want. But I just wanted to show you the traditional way they did it during the Depression. All right, guys. Until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.